Marion Milton Magruder was born in Lexington, Kentucky to parents William Marion and Augusta Tong Magruder in June 1911. He graduated with honors from the University of Kentucky in 1936 with a BA in psychology. A member of the university's ROTC program, he accepted the commission of second lieutenant in the United States Marines. Magruder reported for flight school in July 1938 to Naval Air Station Pensacola. After graduating, he was promoted to first lieutenant and was assigned to Marine Fighter Squadron VMF-1 at Marine Corps Station, Quantico, Virginia. It was at this time that he met and married Martha Ann Kelly of Lexington. Over the years, they have had five children. Over the next four years, and with the country now at war, his efforts and dedication earned him the rank of major by August 1942. The United States Navy had a critical need to establish an effective night fighting capability for the Pacific Campaign. Radar was in its infancy at the beginning of World War II, but already an essential part of Britain's air defense system. The Americans turned to the RAF, who had expert night fighters, fresh from battles with Germany. The U.S. hoped that Britain would be able to lend some of these squadrons, but unfortunately they could not. What the RAF could offer, however, was training. On February 6, 1943, Magruder and three other pilots were deployed to England for a 90-day stint to learn as much as possible about radar intercept night flying from the RAF. The British aircraft, configured for night fighting, had the radar operator sit next to the pilot. The U.S., on the other hand, needed to be able to work with only one pilot in a single-engine aircraft that was capable of operating from a carrier. Once back in America, Magruder received orders to rewrite the British methods to fit the U.S. Navy, which he did in 10 days. It was almost a totally different operational syllabus. Magruder's doctrine dictated that a night fighter squadron should be configured to operate as a standalone unit so it could be quickly deployed to the rapidly changing combat arenas when most needed at the beginning of hostilities. All they required was a runway to operate from. In June 1943, Magruder was assigned as a night fighter training officer at the newly formed Marine Aircraft Group 53 at Marine Corps Air Station, Cherry Point, North Carolina. Three months later in October, Major Magruder became the commanding officer of the newly formed VMF N533, which eventually would take the nickname Black Max Killers. Now a lieutenant colonel, his was the first Marine Corps squadron to receive the 56F-3N Hellcat Night Fighter. It had an improved radar, the APS-6. It was simple to operate, having only six knobs, with a range of five miles, and weighed 250 pounds. After undergoing the radar intercept training program, the squadron deployed to the Marshall Islands in May of 1944 to take over night defense of the area. When the Americans stormed Okinawa on April 1, 1945, kicking off the biggest battle of the Pacific War and the Japanese forces dominating the night skies, Magruder was sent to Pearl Harbor for a crisis briefing. Also at the briefing was Admiral Kelly Turner, the commander of the Okinawa invasion force. However, Turner was not sold on Magruder's night fighters, telling him that the planes and technology were no damn good. Magruder responded, you give me 10 days in combat and I'll show you. With no carriers available to transport his squadron from the Marshals to Okinawa, he further astonished the brass when he pledged his men would fly there across 2,500 miles of ocean. Magruder and his men worked out the fuel and on May 7th, 15 F-6F Hellcat fighters took off along with two R-5C transport aircraft with support personnel. So precise were Magruder's calculations that his planes would land at refueling points with as little as four gallons of gasoline. On May 10th, they arrived in Okinawa, completing the longest overwater flight of single-engine fighters in the Pacific during World War II. The squadron was operational in 36 hours, taking off in the worst typhoon season in 200 years. Magruder and his squadron grabbed control of the night skies over Okinawa. They registered 35 enemy aircraft victories and one probable, all radar intercepts, which was almost as many aircraft destroyed as all three other night fighter squadrons on Okinawa combined. The battle for Okinawa was won in June, two months before the end of the war. VMF N533 was the top scoring night fighter squadron and had the best safety record and the highest combat ready rate for any operational squadron in the Pacific. In 15 months of overseas developments, the Killers logged over 11,000 flight hours. On July 8, 1945, 
Magruder transferred command of the VMF N-533 to his executive officer and returned to the United States for a war bond tour. On August 31, 1961, Colonel Magruder retired from active duty after 26 years of service in the U.S. Marine Corps. In retirement, Magruder served on a number of national policy boards and organizations and was a lifelong Rotarian. He died on his 86th birthday, June 27, 1997, in Paradise Valley, Arizona. It is therefore fitting that Colonel Marion Milton Magruder be enshrined into the official Aviation Hall of Fame of the Commonwealth of Kentucky.